guys, problem. Can't even open these doors. There's just like a meter of snow behind the door. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere. I can't even open the doors for the barn. Those are frozen shut and I won't be able to get in there. At least until it's summer, I'm thinking. That's completely off limits for me right now. So the weather forecast said that we're gonna get a lot more snow in the coming weeks. So I need to clear this snow out before it gets even too much for my tractor. Right now doing this with ATV is completely pointless. I think like a bulldozer D9 or something like that would be very helpful here right now. So first things first, I'm gonna try to get some trails going here with the tractor.
Whoa, that was some heavy blowing. This thing did a pretty good job. But even for this tractor, this snow is very thick. Mind your fingers. So initially I didn't really plan to film this, but I got an interesting idea and I think it's worth posting. So what I want to do in this video is I replaced this roof, I think uh, two, maybe three years ago, and I didn't install any of uh, that stuff that blocks the snow from coming off the roof. Now the reason I didn't do that is because I don't want having this giant mass on uh, the roof here. I don't think it's gonna collapse or anything like that, but uh, I don't think it's very good either. So all the snow, as it gets a bit warmer, the roof surface is very slippery and all the snow will just plow down here. Now for most of the part of the house it's not a big deal, because starting from here I have a solid concrete foundation that extends out to the corner of that house. So this is the other side of the wall inside and you, here you can see the foundation. Now this thing goes deep. I think it went a bit over a meter deep. From here you can also see the foundation. That means there is not a chance in the world that any water will penetrate into this room. But from here to that corner there is this thing. I did not do anything to it. I left it as it is. But it's not good guys, it's not good. So let's go to the shop and I will show you why it's not good. So this is why it's not good. The boulder masonry mixture of wall that is behind this concrete floor wall is not waterproof. That means water will leak through it slowly and it will just accumulate on my workshop floor. Same deal on the other side, it's mostly dry but a little bit is still leaking through. So if all that snow that is behind the wall here would melt away very fast, my entire garage wall floor here would be just flooded. So eventually it will all drain down to this uh, canal. So a couple of years I've had an issue where this thing is almost filled with water. But this year I did install a drain pipe there, so all the water will drain nicely into the ground and it cannot fill anymore. But to fix this problem, I'm actually planning to do a separate video about this. I'm hoping if I have enough time, I'm planning to release that video during the summertime. I hope I can do this this year. So in this video, I'm gonna try to get as much snow out of here as possible. I'm sure more will come, but the amount of snow already here is a lot. I mean, last week I did dig this area out here because I was really unable to open these doors anymore. I mean, you can see the size of this snow bank that is here Com compared to my height. It's pretty much almost waist level. And also I had to dig this one out as well because I could just not get through this door at all anymore. And you can see that already a new pile of snow has accumulated ho here. I actually tried to get the excavator out. Uh, I'm amazed how well that thing actually fired up. Considering I haven't fired that thing up for probably around since my part 9 of the cabin, so whenever that was released. I'm kind of amazed how well that thing fired up. But the problem was here, I could not get the excavator out of here. I tried back and forth, back and forth, tried to push a bit of the ice away, could not get traction, was pretty fed up with it, and then just pretty much abandoned the idea. Now this happened because in normal circumstances, I can barely get my excavator out of here. You can see that I'm always grinding against this beam here. Thanks to this ice surface on the concrete here, it has risen up 
uh, the level a bit and the roof of the excavator pretty much just plowed against here I think it went under a bit and the entire thing just lifted up and the entire roof section here was supported by the excavator's roof luckily nothing happened so yeah snow just keeps coming and coming and coming and it's really annoying but at least I got those two finished the trailer and the rock lapler or a log grappler grappler log grapp grappler god damn it I don't know English English nieto but anyway uh, enough of that let's uh, let's try to get as much snow out of here as possible so I got one day here I have to go back to work tomorrow and I've been constantly working I haven't really had any time to come to the farm I have to be at work constantly like pulling 12 hour shifts five days straight it's really messed up i got one day off and uh, let's see if we can do this in one day so like i said before i didn't initially plan to film it but after thinking what i'm gonna do with all the snow i got a pretty cool idea so so my idea is i'm gonna pile all the snow here i'm gonna create a mountain of snow here for the kids immediately i thought oh no that's a good video idea i think also i want to see how long this pile will last into the spring or summer so let's not waste any daytime and uh, let's just get to work. So yeah, I think I got pretty much everything cleared out here and I think it's slightly better here now. Also got a nice little mountain of snow here. Yeah, you can stop spinning now. Also got a nice little mountain of snow here and it's snowing again. Sure, why not? You can stop time-lapsing now. 
This thing is still working, which is great. Now I have two cameras. So I'm gonna leave this here and there's two reasons for that. First of all, there is a porch here and I don't really want to mess up this porch with the tractor. And the other reason is that I think there's a couple of plants here. So one is here and another one is probably hidden under the snow somewhere. So if I try to remove this, I'm thinking I'm gonna mess up these plants and yeah, not gonna do anything here. And besides here, a very thick and deep foundation for the house. So no water will penetrate the house, period. And there is a nice slope here, so it will just go downhill here. But anyway, let's try to get this uh, snow mountain finished before the day runs out on me. Test this thing out. Wow, scary. It's freaking small. Ow. Should probably not put the thing on my way. I have no idea how kids do this. This is so exhausting. It was a lot easier building this thing than riding down it. Wow. I mean, I've only done like three or four slides down here and I'm already coughing up a lot. I'm definitely getting too old for this. I kind of wanted this thing to calm down. I mean, check this out. The amount of snow on this addition here. It's pretty crazy. There is probably a lot of weight on here. I can't even see what's going on there. Maybe you can. Come on, come down. Come down, come down. Come down. Please, pretty please. Pretty, pretty please. No? Come on, man. Just come down. Okay, I guess this thing works. And I got this thing finished in a single day. Plus I still have like three hours left of daylight. Absolute win right here. Plus the snow that I all removed from here. It will probably not do much, but uh, I think it will do something by keeping some of the water out. Yeah, all the snow here would have just melted away slowly and 
and a bunch of it would have leaked into the workshop. But I'm thinking I'm gonna wrap up this video. Hopefully it was worth posting. I mean, I sure had fun doing this job and I hope you enjoy this video. What? I don't know. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed this video. So, so thanks for watching and as always, see you in the next one. Bye.